FutureCast. Well, a beautiful dry day today, and most of tomorrow should be dry as well with just a chance of some showers. Right now, we go out to live Pinpoint Doppler 12. As we scan the skies over southern New England, we're not finding any precipitation. And here's a look at the chance of the showers on the way for tomorrow. Basically, what we're looking at is a probability of precipitation throughout the day. And you can see throughout most of the day, it's very low, about 10% through noontime, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, 20%, and 30% between about 6 and 9 p.m. Some of these storms could be strong, but keep in mind, mind even at the highest point the highest probability notice it's only 30 percent so many of us may miss out on the showers altogether tomorrow but those of us that do get hit with the showers could see some heavy possibly severe storms the threat of that is still pretty low but it's worth watching over providence right now the temperature is 74 degrees winds are out of the southwest at eight miles an hour in terms of the dew points they were nice and low today weren't they not really the case tomorrow up to 67 for a dew point tomorrow but 60 on Tuesday, so back to the comfortable stuff to uh, start the uh, middle of the work week. But for the actual middle of the work week on Wednesday, we're sort of right in between the uh, noticeable and muggy level. So it's a little on the sticky side. I think Tuesday, though, the pick of the next several days in terms of the humidity. As we move on to the satellite picture, a few dying showers across Long Island Sound. You can see most of them fading away right now. And as these break apart, they'll arrive in the form of some clouds over southern New England overnight. Behind that, It'll be uh, mostly clear, and then throughout the day, tomorrow, we're kind of back and forth with the sun and the clouds. So overnight, temperatures relatively comfortable, 68 by 3 o'clock in the morning. 5 a.m., we're down to 67 degrees. Now, you'll feel a little bit of that stickiness in the air tomorrow, 87 by noontime, 88 by 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Best chance of a shower would be after 3 o'clock. Now, one of the issues with tomorrow is that there will be some sunshine, and when we have the sunshine and we combine it with the front, Often that can trigger some thunderstorms. So that's one slight concern tomorrow, the prospect of some sun. I mean, it won't be wall-to-wall -wall sunshine, but it will be out there at times. The other concern I have is those winds out of the southwest. What we want to see to really cancel out those storms is a wind completely out of the south that brings in that marine influence and kind of often squashes out the storms. Not really the case tomorrow. Kind of a land direction for a good part of the day. So we'll have to watch out for the threat of some of these storms being strong. But again, most of the day is dry. That's an important point to emphasize. Eastern Massachusetts, upper 80s, humid, so a warm one in New Bedford with 89 degrees, 88 Seekonk, Middletown 83 degrees and 82 in Little Compton. Out at the beach, watch out for the chance of some showers and storms, but when it's not raining, it's the type of day where you may want to jump in the water with those sticky conditions. And out on the water, visibility poor under any developing shower. Uh, high tide, 9.49 in the morning. Low tide, 3.11 in the afternoon. Seven-day future cast shows a pretty nice day on Tuesday. Now, one of our computers wants to throw a few showers late in the day. Right now, I'm just going to put a cloud in the forecast, but stay tuned. Michelle has another update bright and early tomorrow morning just to see if there are any changes with that Tuesday forecast. Chance of some showers late on Wednesday. Highs in the low 80s. Thursday and Friday, low to mid 80s, mostly sunny skies, and the threat of, of a few showers and storms as we move into Saturday. Of course, WPRI.com is a place to go for your latest weather updates. You can also check out our new iPhone app. Just search WPRI on iTunes. Naka, back to you. All right. Thanks, Pete. Still